Okay, welcome to a new series of Rising Worlds. This is going to be running in conjunction with the other series, which is now on episode 18. The difference between the series is that the original series was based on an area with a lot of hills and mountains. This series will be on a completely flat island. We are in the middle of uh, a big forest and there's no hills or mountains in sight. Um, looks like the rain has stopped, so that's a great start for this uh, episode. So what I've done is to put in a bunch of uh, flowers next to this water hole. The water hole was uh, created, it's actually um, a bit of a river going off in that direction there. I've uh, put some rocks into the um, bottom of the, the lake here and um, we've got a few plants that I've actually put into the side there. Um, what we need to do is to start um, gathering some items. We've got the primitive stone axe to start with and we are going to see if we can set up some sort of a house um, in this area. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we need to probably get a campfire. Um, I'm thinking just a normal one there. Um, so we need eight stone, two pieces of log. I saw sort a of bear walking by, I think it was my imagination. Okay, so we've got uh, some stones here, so I'll, I'll get this bigger one. Okay, we've got 32 stone out of that, that's, that's a good start. Um, let's um, just move a bit further down this way, we'll cut down a couple of trees, get the lumber that we need. Oh, I just love the sound of the trees hitting the ground. I'm going to work pretty quickly to try and get uh, a steel axe going, or stone axe uh, at least. Um, let's uh, just plant a couple of trees here. I don't want to be holding on to too many of them. Do I have any others? No, that's fine. So I'll put down the, uh, the red flowers here because they will tell me where the, the base is going to be set up. Um, it's a huge area here that we can set up a nice looking house. Um, I'm not going to touch any of the leaves around the, the pond here. If we go through and have a look, you see it, the, from here, the water goes all the way around here. Let's pull in. Let's get rid of this thing. Okay, I thought that might be uh, some vegetables, and it will end here. And I've got a little bit of uh, stone here. It's like um, I don't want to fall in. This is pretty much where the, the water comes from and just kind of goes downhill there to, um, to where the uh, it actually accumulates in the, I think it's more of a pond or a small lake, but uh, yeah that, that looks pretty effective. So I went into creative mode and uh, made all of this from scratch. When I went into the game it was pretty much just looking like that. Um, so I've gone through and actually designed all of this, uh, put that in, and it looks quite nice. Okay, so I need to probably get a few more trees. Got nine, nine logs at the moment. And that 
Didn't go down. That's no, now it goes down. That's a loose tree. So yeah, depending on whereabouts uh, you are, what type of um, map you you're on, um, the gameplay is going to be completely different. I mean, I, I can feel this this uh, series is going to be different to this will be called series two, and I can already tell it's going to be different to the, the first series. Pretty much because I'm not dealing with. Um, having to climb up uh, hills and um, I'm not camped anywhere near an ocean uh, apart from that lake that I put in I don't think there's any water anywhere else so when I go for long journeys I'm going to have to make sure I'm carrying enough water to, to last the journey so I'm not too sure if there's going to be any water on this island apart from what I've uh, I've actually built there. Okay, let's um, find this. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, just by going back to the um, red flowers, I automatically get back here. So, yeah, I've, I've put um, a couple of rocks down the bottom there. Um, that looks pretty effective with the, uh, the water moving over them. Okay, so what, uh, what do we need? Um, crafting. So we pretty much have everything we need there. Um, just wondering, can I get a rake yet? I'm probably going to need a workbench. I might, might do the workbench first. So with the primitive workbench uh, we can do that now. Okay, that's gone into position 4. Let's find a place. Probably over there. It's supposed to be on the other side. I'm going to leave those uh, flowers there. Okay, we'll put that here, um, and we'll turn that around. Nice, okay. Right, so I can go through and get a rake. Um, I need the proper workbench to do that though, so we won't be doing that just yet. I don't think I can do the workbench without getting some iron. And that's going to be interesting is um, where I'm going to get iron because there's absolutely no hills. I'm going to have to dig into the ground and hopefully find some iron down there. Now what worries me is I don't see any food at all. So hopefully we're going to find some. Uh, I'm looking at our food and water, 88, 89. So yeah, hopefully there's going to be food around somewhere. I've seen a couple of um, rocks with uh, iron in them, so we will pick them up. No, I, thought, I thought that was something. So we're going to have to probably go find some food um, perhaps outside of the, the forest. And um, that might uh, be quite a trip. So we've got to make sure we don't get lost. Because we don't have a map at the moment. So that's not going to help us at all. So at the moment I don't see food anywhere. I've kind of been through this area already. I'm pretty sure that there is going to be food that's going to try and find it. And then we've got to um, 
but there's so many trees in this place we wired smack in the middle of the forest okay I want to get lost so we'll turn back around so you can hear the the water so that kind of gives you a an idea where where to go so it's kind of over in this direction got an old log there you can see the red flowers Okay, so that's going to be an issue up front is um, can't find any food just yet so we might have to go uh, for a bit of a trip to see if we can find some food. That'd be interesting. What I might do... What do I need to... I need to get iron. Hmm. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll set up the campfire. Is there a, a rock that I can put it on? So I can see it from further away. Um, what is this one here, I suppose? Okay, well put it there for the time being, oh there's one here, we'll do, we'll do it there almost fell in the water ok so we want um, just a normal campfire, um, I'm not going to worry about being a bonfire um, uh, might, might have to do a bonfire the reason I'm, I'm thinking bonfire is because it's visible from a long distance away provides warm light and safety this one is kind of used just for cooking um, so I think I'm going to do the large bonfire so it's got so many trees here <laughs> okay so I'm supposed to put it I'm thinking probably around here screenshot there okay so we, we've got a bit of a beacon fire going so let's see if we can find some iron I think um, that's, that's um, there I'm gonna have to hit this with my little hammer if we get some iron out of this ok we've got iron iron ore ok I'm going to stick this um, up the top here I'll put the wood up here and I'll put uh, the stone so we've got 16 stone, 9 iron ore and 11 logs as you can see we can see exactly where that fire is Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a concern if I'm finding food. I'm hoping to find something by now. Okay, we've got another log here. I'm just going to go this way because I know if I turn around 180 degrees it'll take me back to the fire. So this is a huge forest that I'm in. And when uh, we get animals in this game, in uh, four to eight weeks time, whatever it's going to be, um, this, this forest is going to have so many animals in it. <laughs> As you can see, there's no... 
There's no food around that I can see. Okay. Well, I might have to do a bit of work on that. Okay, so let's assume I just did a 180. And more. More iron here, we'll pick that up. So if I've got my sense of direction right, it's off in this direction here. It'll be a bit to the left. We'll have a look for the, the bonfire, and of course we don't have a map. Probably went a little further than I should have, but that's okay. Okay, we got another rock here. So as you can see, with um, all of these trees around, it's going to be really easy to get lost. If I didn't do a proper 180, I could be going in a completely different direction. can hear it. There it is. So if you if you get lost, keep keep listening because um, like if you got a bonfire, you should be able to hear it. So I was kind of um, heading in the wrong direction. So thankfully, I managed to put up that bonfire before I went for a bit of a walk. Okay, I'm just going to have a quick look out this way, see if there's any more iron rocks. How many have I got? Uh, I've got 42. I'm going to need uh, some more stone. Some stone here, so we'll grab that. Try and set up a uh, smelter. We've got 33 stones there. Looks like we might be getting uh, more rain. I'm just going to grab some more lumber. We're going to need to put that into the uh, smelter. What I'll try and do, have I got fences over there? I might actually move it over to the side. Let me pick this up. 
and I'll move it closer to the bonfire. We'll have everything here. about there but the light from the fire is going to allow me to get inside here perfect okay uh, let's uh, we've got 42 pieces of iron ore to put in put some logs into the, into the side which is there okay so we got 100 percent in there and this one nicely okay The other thing we want to do is to get the shelter down. We're going to need uh, sapling, so we're going to need to cut down We've only got one sapling, okay. But I had more. Let's check the inventory. Yeah, we've only got one. Okay, so I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of sticks. I'm going to need lumber I'm going to do 32 do 16 shelter so we need four settings so let me cut down four trees I'll go a little bit further out this way two trees over there okay, so that's one sapling we need to get another two cut this tree down We're going to need to get a better axe than this. Okay. 
Gonna grab some more stone. Reuse a fair bit with the smelter. Grab this tree. Okay, so I've got four saplings, so uh, that should give me what I need. I'm caught up in that tree. Okay, let's look for the fire. I lost my bearings. There it is. So being in a forest this size, um, so many trees, it's very easy to get lost, so I've got to be careful. Okay, these are piping white hot. We'll cross that, let's go into position two. Now, I don't want to be too close to the fire, it's going to get really hot. So I'll put the uh, Put it down here. There we go. Perfect. And we've got our first lot of iron ingots. Wait for that to cool down. So we got eight, eight iron ingots. Uh, we got 34 to go. So let's stick those in here. So I hope you can already see that um, this is completely different to how, how series one went. It just complete, looks completely different. So even if you've uh, played a couple of games, uh, try opening up a, a flat world and um, set up um, a little world uh, using uh, the creative tool. Now put down some water um, so you've got something to drink um, and then go and see if you can actually find food. Um, I'll have to find out from the forum whether using the, um, the flat world um, in the start up menu will actually have uh, food in the game or whether I've actually got to put it in myself. I'm pretty sure it's going to be there, I've just got to go looking for it. Okay, anyway, um, everything's going well. We've got um, eight iron ingots, um, which we need to make an axe. We need a workbench. Uh, 32 lumbar, okay, so we will, I don't think we've got enough here, 39, um, might as well cut down a, another tree, and we'll get the, the workbench um, up and running. Okay, 
Got that cow. Work bench. 32 lumbar. Okay, got one work bench. I will move it down to where the sticks are. And we will put this down. Probably thinking pretty close to this fire. Get uh, through here. And it's pouring the rain again. Just gonna put a bit oh, uh, back here a bit. What I might do is get rid of this. this up I'll wait for that to to disappear might take um, a couple of minutes so what I might do is to finish the episode here we can place the episode next episode um, yeah so that's the start of it um, we'll be passing more hot, more hot again and um, in the next episode we'll create uh, a, um, an axe out of the iron and uh, we'll go further from there. And if you enjoyed this uh, particular episode, uh, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And we will be back for the next episode uh, probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye. -bye.